Hey guys, it's Savage. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my one second ten stacker. Uh, I'm going to be dropping the link to it in the description as soon as I hit 50 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. Alright, so I set up some walls. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few functions, like just a few different things you can do with the cannon. So I'm just going to start by autoing. It's a one second clock, so it, it shoots every second. It's got a late scatter on it, so you can uh, region bust, basically so you can double tap with it. You can see it slab busts every shot. And I'm going to show you something I figured out with this cannon. So if you turn on the this tunnel scatter, not that one, you, you can't use that one. Uh, you, you only use that one with this one when you're just straight up tunneling but if you turn on the tunnel scatter um, basically it'll it'll be an instant one shot instead of a late one shot oh, whoops oh, I accidentally flipped one of those levers I was saying it'll be an instant scatter. I don't know why you'd ever need that, but if you do happen to need it for whatever reason, it's there. Uh, one thing about that though, the instant scatter is only going to go as far as the tunnel will go, which is probably only about 50 blocks after this emerald wall uh, after that it'll just it'll switch back to late scatter by itself you wouldn't actually have to turn it off but I would just to save on TNT but yeah so with this cannon um, one thing about it is you're probably not going to be doing too many like um, raids for value with it uh, just because people don't typically place their value uh, under Y10 um, what it will be good for is breaching people's counters because for some reason people are stupid enough to put their counters either on bedrock or anywhere between there and Y10 and I don't know why but they just do so if you come across a base with low counters like that, then you can use this. Um, another good thing it's going to be good for is uh, side counters. If you have to side counter, say your counter gets breached and you have to build something quick. Um, if their cannon's low, which uh, a lot of the times they are, then you could just build this. And uh, I mean, you could build this by yourself and probably. 15 20 minutes if you had like if you had like three people working on it you could probably build it I don't know maybe five ten minutes like it's it's a really quick and easy build it doesn't look like it but I've built it by myself a few times and it's really quick the one important thing to region busting is this right here that's gonna be your one rev um, but you don't have to really worry about that because it's already time to where you're gonna barrel stack so if your one rev is timed normally like a normal one rev you're not gonna be able to region bust because it's not going to barrel stack so basically you just have to mess with the timings uh, to get it to barrel stack and then you'll region bust every single time and I'll go ahead and show you that right now all right, so I got some region set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and break them just to show you that the region. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and lever it. Show you that it region busts.
but like I was saying, the main reason that it, uh, region busts is because the one rev, uh, you make it, you basically make it barrel stack, so you make the stack, um, you make it stack to the height of the barrel. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up um, stacking one down, and then it's not gonna bust this. Since your barrel's up here, it's gonna regen, and you're gonna end up just clipping this every single time. So you have to, that's, you have to have that. Um, another thing is, uh, I did use this uh, once on Mine Superior, and I noticed uh, with a 10 stacker, you're typically gonna have, uh, since you're placing it on bedrock, you're gonna have a lot of, like, uh, end stone or whatever biome you're in, you're gonna have a lot of blocks in between your cannon box and your base. So what I did is I went ahead and added a toggleable tunneler on it. So basically, when you want a uh, tunnel, you're gonna turn the two red, uh, the two red ones on. <coughs> and everything that has yellow wool, you're gonna turn it off. This, um, you're gonna turn it on, but it's technically turning it off. Um, I'll go ahead and set up a tunnel. I'll go ahead and uh, get that set up for you guys. Alright guys, I went ahead and got a chunk of stone set up uh, just to show you how the tunneler works. Uh, I'm sure you guys all know how tunnelers work, but I'm going to show you anyway. So we'll go ahead and fire. Also another thing I forgot to mention is to tunnel you're going to have to remove this piece of redstone here to turn your red sand off and you need to disable your one rev. Basically like I said anything that has yellow wool on it if you don't then it's just not going to work properly and you're not going to get a very far tunnel. If you leave the red sand on by accident your tunnel will probably come like right here and then stop. So it's just not going to be good. Um, also, I just want to say the main reason I added the tunneler on it isn't just to tunnel one spot. Um, so basically, when when it comes to adjusting, if you have to uh, go through one spot the whole time, then it's fine. You don't really need a tunneler. You can just auto through. But when you start having to adjust say you have to adjust to this side then you have to adjust to this side uh, those blocks in between really become an issue and it takes a lot of time and a lot of TNT when you can just one shot through it um, so that's why I added that to it it just makes it way easier way more time efficient TNT efficient um, I built this cannon here on crystal I've tested it on Mine Superior, I haven't tested it on any other servers, so if you want to go ahead and do that, um, let me know what servers they work on or don't. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to be releasing this cannon as soon as I hit 50 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed yet and you would like to have this cannon, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.